Hey guys, today I'd like to share with you my ham radio go kit. This is a idea my dad told me about a few years ago. Kind of the premise behind this thing is uh, if there's ever an emergency and you want to go out and help people with your using your amateur radio skills, this is a kit you can just grab and it's got everything you need for a day or so of helping people. This isn't the final version, it's probably never going to be done, I'll just add things and remove things as needed. Also it's it's more useful than just emergency. If I was going to go hiking or something, I might take this. It's got all sorts of uses. So I'm just going to go through the contents and show you what's in it. Okay, so the, start with the bag, it's a LA police gear um, bailout bag, I think. It's kind of like meant to be a range bag, but I'm not using it for that, obviously. It's got a handle on the top. It's got a strap for carrying it. Over here I've got water. Not much of it. Probably do a bigger. That's it for that pouch. Right here there's a um, paracord lanyard type thing. It can be undone and there's a length of paracord there. This side next. Here's uh, kind of some miscellaneous tools. There's a screwdriver. I'm missing that end, but it's, it's got a flathead and a Phillips on this side. On that side, and it could also use any standard bit size, the small type or the large type. I'm not sure exactly the measurements for those. Got some pliers and wire cutters. Um, this is a multi-tool. It's crescent wrench plus pocket knife type stuff. Here I've got some chapstick, uh, a watch, and a calculator. Calculator watch. Here's a lighter. Uh, nail clippers. Now this pouch is empty. This pouch got flashlights. This is a headlamp, two different brightnesses. This is a, just a simple LED flashlight. Go to the other side. Here I have some batteries. This is a bag of batteries. I actually need to get more batteries. I'm low on those. That's just really where I keep my batteries. And that makes sure I always cycle them out. Um, here's the clamshell um, case for my radio. Maybe I should go to my radio first. This is the comms pouch. I've got my Kenwood THF6A. It's a tri-band amateur radio. It's got a carrying pouch here. And also in this pouch, I've got a little FRS radio. Um, there's a little belt clip that connects to the back of my portable. It swivels. And I've got also got a belt clip that if it wasn't in this case, the belt clip could go on it. And then, oh yes, the clamshell. You open this up and it takes AA batteries. So in case you're on the go, you don't have a charger available, or AC available, you can use AA's and that connects on the back of the radio. So back to this pouch. Got some earplugs. In case I wanted to go shooting, with, I could take this, I guess. Because it's got multiple uses. Once I get to the inside, it'll make more sense why I would take it hiking or shooting. In this pouch, I've got some toothpaste toothbrush, and some trash bags. All right, now to the inside. There's some hand sanitizer. First aid kit. I use this a lot. It's just a store-bought first aid kit. You got gauze, scissors, tape, some bandages, some band-aid type bandages, butterfly closures, gloves, whole bunch of alcohol pads, and bite relief stuff, some small bandages, little instruction manual, whistle, tweezers. I used this when I scraped myself uh, longboarding. I need to replace the gauze actually. I used a lot of it. Okay, here we've got some, this is like half a bandana and it's red, high visibility. Here's another full size bandana, camouflage color, some extra sunglasses. Um, got some sunscreen. Got this high visibility vest that says radio communications. Got some rope, 100 foot of cotton rope, all purpose. Here's some, a little bit of paracord, a little bit of fancy red rope. I don't know, it's, it's the type that would melt. Um, here's some zip ties, electrical tape. Fishing line, 
and a binder clip. There's some antibacterial wipes. Rain poncho. Uh, Genius Boost. Battery. This can jump start a car. Actually, I need to get the car jump starting things back on. It's the car jump starting leads aren't on this, but it's got a flashlight built in with different modes like SOS mode. Um, and then the big thing that's handy about this is the USB. Well, the micro USB is for charging this device, and then the standard, what is that, USB A is for charging whatever, cell phones, anything. It's very useful. A pair of gloves. Emergency food. Go in here real quick. This is a food warmer. You just add water. This is emergency protein, emergency everything. It's got protein, calories, sodium, fat, vitamins, thiamine, rib riboflavin. Uh, it's basically, it'll keep you alive. I'm sure it tastes horrible. An MRE utensil kit. It's got a spoon, napkin, um, and coffee, and cream, and salt, sugar. Got two of those. And a uh, lens cleaning cloth, microfiber, along with some binoculars. All right, that's it for the inside. There's one more pouch that's kind of hidden that I almost forgot about. It's on the outside here. It's got miscellaneous stuff that I couldn't figure out where else to put. This is a you know charging lead for the Genius Boost. Uh, so just some random aluminum foil that could be used for creating fuses in cars in case you need one in a pinch. Some bits of copper wire, sharpie, mirror, and super glue. That's it. That's all that's in the bag. Uh, a couple things that I want to add still. Um, some paper and rubber bands. Other than that, what do you think it should have? Thanks for watching and have a good day.